what up guys it's nakamoto crypto here and today we have got two of the one coin promoters are found dead in mexico oscar brito ibarra and ignacio ibarra two major one coin promoters were found apparently kidnapped and killed in mexico according to the report the two men were promoting the one coin ponzi scheme as a payment method for a local car firm, the Latin American Automotive Marketing Company. The terrifying news was first reported by major Latin American publication, La Tercera. On Saturday, according to the report, the bodies of Brito and Ibarra were found stuffed into suitcases and dumped in a vacant lot. According to examinations, the two men were apparently killed by suffocation. So according to La Tercera, the story began back in 2017 when Oscar Brito Ibarra, a Chilean citizen, first signed up to OneCoin scheme as an affiliate, founded back in 2014. The OneCoin project already emerged as a major crypto scam by that time with a number of global authorities labeling it as a Ponzi scheme in 2017. After promoting OneCoin for a while, Oscar reportedly got an Argentinian partner, Ignacio, involved to promote the CLA by offering discounts for making purchasing vehicles with the OneCoin token. According to the report, the promised cars were never delivered despite the two men continuing to promote the scam across Latin America. So about 140 people in Argentina were scammed by the CLA by the end of 2019 with some of them having lost up to $400,000. So on June 20th, Brito and Ibarra traveled to Sinaloa, Mexico. The exact reason for the trip remains unclear, although the trip could apparently have been linked to the CLA La Tercera reported. The bodies of the two men were found a few days after that, citing a report by the United States Drug Enforcement Administration La Tercera suggested that the murders could have involved local cartels that increasingly deal with cryptocurrencies to launder money. OneCoin is known as a major exit scam alongside famous crypto scam BitConnect. The Bulgaria-based firm reportedly still remains fully operational to date despite investigators' allegations that it raised 4 billion euros, 4.4 billion to be exact. So in early July, a Singaporean man was also found guilty by operating one coin and he was fined $72,000. In November last year also, a jury convicted one coin's lawyer Mark Scott for laundering $400 million for the scheme. He's also behind bars. And yeah, that is the downfall of the one coin. It is sad to see indeed these people lose their lives, but they have no idea what they have signed up to. And this is the end they have met pretty much. If you play with fire, fire can get you. To end up in a suitcase, in a ditch, you have to have really hurt some people. And finally they have met their fate, which is really really sad indeed. The suitcases were dumped on a vacant lot and their cause of death, were, death was suffocation. And according to this report, they have convinced many individuals to invest into the coin and promised them to get cars in return, which the people never received and they would just run away with people's money. Until finally, this week they met their fate, somebody kidnapped them lured them I guess they must have scammed some cartel members those guys must have lured them in kidnapped them two days later their bodies were found into suitcases 
So that should tell you everything you need to know about getting involved into Ponzi schemes, recruiting people, into getting into Ponzi's. And this is 2020, people don't play with their money. So be extra cautious recruiting people. That is the lesson you should get from this right here. So stop getting involved into these Ponzi schemes. And on that click, if you like the content, please don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe for some daily crypto updates. I have been Mr. Nakamoto Crypto and I'm out.